Good morning, Glads. I'm Dee Contreras. And I'm Mr. Hill, and this is your KWHS News. Remember to turn in your federal aid cards. They were due last month. Attention juniors and seniors. College visits this month are coming to a close. Tomorrow, the University of Denver checks in, and on Wednesday, November 9th, the Savannah College of Art and Design will be with us. Rounding out the week is Lamar Community College on Thursday, November 10th. And CSU Fort Collins wraps up the month with a visit on November 17th. Make your plans early to check in with these college reps by getting a pass from the counseling office. Congratulations to the winners who got the chance to cut Mr. Sickmiller and Mr. Cummings' hair. All the proceeds raised from this event will be used to fill the 180 Club Thanksgiving basket. Time to find out what we're having for lunch. Miss Betsy? Good morning. It's Monday. Oh my goodness. I hope you enjoyed your extra hour that you got this weekend. Um, today we're having a chicken sandwich. So come down and see us. And tomorrow, beef and bean burritos. We make them ourselves. So come on down. They're really tasty. Thanks and have a great day. Bye. Oh, that sounds really good. I'm hungry already. Seniors, filling out your FAFSA form just got easier. Next week, Whitefoot High School is hosting the Parent Financial Aid and FAFSA night on Tuesday night at 6 p.m. on November 15th. It will be here in the library. PPCC is bringing in experts to help us navigate the FAFSA process. Bring tax information to maximize this opportunity. If you have any questions, contact Mr. Hall in the Counseling Center at this number or by email. The Gladi Actors present The Giver, a story about a boy stuck in a strange world where the government controls everything. Shows are scheduled for November 17th to the 19th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. The cost is $5 for students and 7 for adults. Come see how Jonas finds his path. Now here's the sports team with our sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Dylan Ham, And I'm Elijah Clark. And this is your Gladiator Sports Update. If you missed the boys' basketball meeting last week, please see Mr. Munoz for details. Glads, if you're planning to play winter sport, please stop by the main office to get a yellow card or get a physical packet if you haven't filled one out yet. Winter sports practices start on November 11th. Finally, Glads, the last football game of the season was Friday night at Pueblo West Cyclone Stadium, and the Glads put up a fight but fell to the Cyclones in their regular season finale. I'm Dylan Ham, And I'm Elijah Clark. Have a great Monday. Now, back to Dee and Marissa. Thank you, gentlemen. DECA is currently collecting pop tabs to help support the Ronald McDonald House. Your donations help ill children have a safe place to stay during medical procedures and help DECA secure a spot in National. Last year we donated 17 pounds of tabs. We are aiming to donate 50 pounds of pop tabs this April. To beat the record we need 300 pounds. Will you help us get there? Uh, drop off your donations in Ms. Hilda Brent's mailbox or in room 159. Glads, are you in the club? Science Club meets today at lunch in Ms. Carmody's room. Welding Club meets after school in the metal shop. On Tuesdays, club meeting at lunch includes sophomore council in the magazine room, Rex's Rowdies in room 5, after lunch, ultimate frisbee on the field, and sewing club in room 163. Finally, remember tomorrow's election day. If you are registered to vote, please do so. Every vote counts. That's all we have for you today, Glads. Have a great weekday, Glads. I'm Dee Contreras. And I'm Mr. Hill. This was your KWHS News. I just want to stay in the sun where I find I know it's hard sometimes